Before we continue, I think it would be good to get an understanding of what a signature is. So what is inside the PDF signature and also what the difference is between an e-signature and a digital signature. So an e-signature is essentially you, you have your signature, you, you sign it on a piece of paper, you scan it in and stick it onto the PDF. That's fine for, for some cases. Well, actually, I, I don't ever think it's fine. It's, it's a bit of a weird way of doing it because somebody can use Photoshop to get your signature and stick it on another PDF and say they've signed it and pretend to be you, which it isn't very secure. But a digital signature, so the one we're gonna talk about in this video, is much more secure and comprises of a lot of cryptographic technologies that make sure the document hasn't been tampered, it has a timestamp, and it confirms that you as the signer are who you say you are. So let's talk about that now. In this article, again, I will put in the description, I have an image here from the Adobe documentation, which shows you what makes up a PDF. So I'll zoom in a tiny bit, well, as much as I can. And this is the PDF document. So in the PDF document, there's something called a byte range, which is an array of four numbers showing you what position the signature is in. So the first number will be the start of the document, second number will be start of signature, third will be end of signature, and the fourth will be end of document. And these are positions in the hex code, I think, or, or the byte code of, of the PDF. And that's what the numbers represent. So the signature itself comprised of these three bits. The certificate, the signed message digest, and the timestamp. So the certificate is what confirms that you are who you say you are. Now, for this document, I made one up. I used a self-signed certificate. So that's how I can say that I am Google when I'm not actually Google because I signed it myself. But if you are signing it properly and legally, you'd have to buy a certificate from someone like Global Sign who confirm who you say you are. I'm not sure exactly what they do, but they have their steps and their process and they will give you a certificate which you use to sign the PDF. So that's what this is. The certificate contains a few things. It contains the private key and the public key and a few other bits, but we won't go into that too much. The sign message digest is the is the PDF document itself that has been hashed. And when I mean the document has been hashed, I mean a summary of the document has been kind of put together in a really small piece of code and a small string value. And that has been encrypted or should be encrypted by the private key from here. And this makes sure that if the document has been tampered in any way, it can be compared with the document when it was signed so that the signature will know, hey, this has been messed about with, therefore I will be invalid. And the timestamp is self-explanatory. This is pretty much when the document was signed. So you get a date and timestamp confirming when it was signed. So I think it would be helpful to see the byte range in an actual PDF document. So if you have a copy of Visual Studio Code, go ahead and open it up. If you don't, then use whatever text editor or IDE that you have and just you can find any PDF you want. I've got this one that I've used for the test and I'm just gonna drag it into VS Code um, and I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see it on screen. So at the moment, this is a bunch of unreadable information. I mean, you can read the PDF version number, which is 1.7, but you can't really do much else. So what you need to do to read a file like this is get a hex reader and I'm gonna put a link to the one that I use in the description, but this will turn your PDF into hex code, which is actually what it is. So this gives you more information, the PDF version, and a bunch more things about the PDF. But what it also gives you is the byte code. So let's search that now. Sorry, the byte range. Here we go. So there's only one byte range here, because I've got one signature. And this is where my signature is. This is an array with four numbers, four items. And the first one is the start of the PDF. This is the start of the, start of the signature, so, so the start position in, in the bytecode, the end of the signature and the end of the document, which I don't know why it's so low this number, I thought it would be a bit higher, but anyway, it's, it's better to see how the document looks in the hex codes to get an understanding of, of where it all is. And if I compare that to this, you can see there's the byte range and the contents and right below the byte range, oh, I've lost it, let's get it again. You can see the contents here. So this is the signature bit. Okay, now we know a bit more about what the signature is. Let's go ahead and look into how to create our own certificate for testing reasons. We're going to make a self-signed certificate using something called OpenSSL. 